Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. This is a carpet vlog for July 31st, the year of our Lord, 2017. And I have been back from my Wisconsin road trip for almost a month now. Ah! And I am finally getting around to getting my car fixed anyone recalls I was inadvertently struck by a deer and is still haphazardly strung together this foam cord is actually held for a month that is that's pretty impressive that's a strong phone cord sadly you know it didn't last very long and actually charging my phone but it's second life as a car holder together er it, uh, it did pretty good. You can see it's pretty busted up. Just a little friggin' busted, that is. Yeah, they, they build cars differently now. Like, they used to build cars out of steel. Like, solid. Like a brick. So if you hit the deer, it would just, like, explode the deer. But, uh, they changed that for safety reasons. Apparently... The old style of cars, you know, your car is solid, your car is not going to get messed up in an accident, but your your fleshy body would, would absorb the impact. And they found out that wasn't the best. So now cars like explode like pinatas when they strike objects, which is safer, but uh, you have to put them back together after the accident. So I finally was able to get an auto body appointment get this taken in and get this fixed uh, let's go get this car fixed all right got the carpet mobile dropped off at the um, auto body shop I'm in my rental car which I am entitled to have until my uh, my car is fixed this is much different than the carpet mobile if you look down here it's not uh, full of Taco Bell wrappers for some reason this car actually does something really weird. It's like when you uh, stop at like a stoplight or a stop sign, the car, the engine like shuts down, but then when you hit the gas, it starts up again. Now, see, I used to have a car that that did part of that. I had this car that would, when you stopped at a stoplight or stop sign, the engine would shut off, but when you hit the gas, it wouldn't start back up. You'd have to crank the key to get it going. Actually, sometimes it actually would die while I was moving. You'd be like careening down the highway and it would suddenly shut off and uh, and keep moving. Um, and then I, I was the only one that would drive it because I, I knew how to work it. So like you could, I, I could actually get it started. Like it would be like gliding and I could crank it and get it started and hit the gas and, and keep on driving without wrecking it. That doesn't sound safe, does it? Uh, Gotta love those days of being poor as dirt and driving a car that only half functions. And uh, I ended up selling that car. I think it was $300. And I let the lady keep all the old magazines in the back seat. Check out how massive this Burger King bathroom is. You can do cartwheels in here. It's freaking huge. To call this an empty space. All right, to celebrate the um, the new rental car, we're gonna drink a milkshake, a nice, sticky, disgusting milkshake. I don't want to have your nasty beer. I'm sorry, I'm going first. All right, you go first. This is actually this is the Lucky Charms milkshake. They also they sell Fruit Loop milkshakes. So I don't like Fruit Loops as much. But Lucky Charms is always kind of been my go-to cereal. Delicious. Do you like Lucky Charms, Anna? Yeah. We all just want the marshmallows. We're not gonna. I like the oats, too. Don't spill that. Don't spill that. I, it's a rental car. I'm not spilling it. You're, like, holding it and you're dragging it, like. Alright, alright. Chug it. This is, uh. Is it good? What's it taste like? There's chunks of the marshmallow in it. It sounds good. I can see you downing that in like five minutes. It's pretty good. Pretty tasty. It's, yeah, there's some chunks in there. Oh, I hate the word chunk so much. 
All right. Why do you hit the word chunk? I hate it. Skip that and get the frozen Coke for $1. $1 for this delicious Coke. How do you drink it if it's frozen? Don't go there. That's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I like the little chunks. They're good. This is entertaining. Me, me taking a sip and being like, oh, that's nasty. And then him being like, mmm. That's every taste video ever. All right, we're going to do a quick little mail segment. What should we call our mail segments? We need a name. Put it down in the comments. Carpet mail. No. The mail, more, the mail no, bagger? No. Mail bagger? No. No, no, no. <laughs> they are way more creative than we are. They can do it in the comments. Way more creative. All right. You guys are so creative. You need to just put stuff in the comments because you guys come up with, like, the best art. Fart. <laughs> I want Mark Fun Jones. Yes, we have his painting. You can't see the painting because it's right, actually right behind the camera. But, uh... The Fry family sent me this postcard of Cincinnati. Look at that. It looks much nicer when it's not covered in snow. You like this picture. It's a very nice picture of Cincinnati. Why am I in this video? I'm just the person that gives negative commentary in the side. Yeah, you're to make sure that I don't, you know, have too good of a time or, or things <laughs> don't get overly positive. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I have like the same handwriting as you. This is... Let me see... TJ sent me this postcard. Dog Days of Summer from Maine. Appreciate the postcard, TJ. And John from Modesto, California sent me this selfie stick. Um, I, I think this is a hint that I should just hold the camera a little further away from my face. Uh, I, I've tried selfie sticks before. I do like this one a lot. It's got like this bendy part right there. I hope he knows that you banged on my door with that earlier. No, I was banging with my other selfie stick. So no, I, so it I was that right. one. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was not. It was that one. Why do you think it was this one? Because it was red. It had a black handle. No, it was red. <laughs> I would tell, I mean, I would bang on her door with this. I don't, it's okay to bang We're on her door. We're gonna go get Burger stick. King. <laughs> wake up. Yeah, I bang on her door with a selfie stick. It's a wake up. We're gonna get Burger King. But yeah, this is <laughs> nice. You can try that. You know, uh, it probably would help. I have short arms, shorter arms than a lot of other YouTube people. So, you know, maybe try this. Sometimes in, in public, it gets a little dangerous when you're like waving it in people's face <laughs> yeah, when that's you're trying to very film. very nice. Ah! But I will use this, I promise. All right, finally, we got a little something in the mail from Craig, the Scottish guy. Put that on. Put I it don't on. know if I want to do that. I got this little hat here. It's got some little red mullet in the back. I don't think I'm going to put, put it this on. on. I don't want to. I don't know this person. He's a good guy. I, I know don't know. I haven't met him. I don't know who. Ah! Ah, what if he has lice? He doesn't have lice. Ah! I don't know who you are. <laughs> He's going to hurt his feelings. He just said he had lice. Maybe it's supposed to go in the front. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, that's how it works. Ah. So, yeah, we have some. Here, I'm putting it on right. Yep, here he is. Craig, the Scottish guy. We also sent this lovely magnet from Scotland. See, I want a magnet from Scotland. Well, we can share this magnet from Scotland. Are we going to put it on our magnet collection? Yeah, we can put it on our magnet collection. Thank you, Craig. Everyone, check out Craig's channel on YouTube right there. There's no pressuring to send us stuff, but you'll definitely be in a video because we love doing that. No guarantee you'll be in a video. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? No, we should put them in the video. Okay, it's you so make nice. a you make a promise that we'll put anything they send in a video. Or what if someone sends, you know, 
something inappropriate. Like... Okay, if you send something weird like and inappropriate... a my... severed human foot. Okay, if you send a severed human foot, we're not putting you in the video. But if you send something really cool, like the Scottish guy who might have lice... He does not have lice. You're <laughs> slandering. You always get me in trouble with your slanderous comments. All right. This one's in the bag. <laughs>